It's showtime, y'all. It's showtime. It's been five years now in medical school. Um, step one, step two, a whole year in the hospital right over there across the street. Um, one whole year learning my MBA. And now match week is going to be starting next week. Um, I just figured I would make this video more as a reflection. If you're interested in all of that, stick around. This is gonna be a little bit more of a personal video, uh, but it's, it's crazy, match is coming up. So let's talk about it. So let me now just walk you through like all the stuff that's gonna be happening because there's a lot of stuff happening in a very short amount of time. In your fourth year of med school, um, during the first half, let's assume the year starts in like August, between August to January, you interview for residencies. So whether whatever specialty it's, it is, orthopedics, uh, internal medicine, whatever it is, you're usually interviewing. There are two specialties for which the interviews end a little bit earlier, ophthalmology and urology. Those two specialties have early matches, which means they find out where they matched uh, much earlier than the rest of us do. Usually between like December to January is when those two specialties find out when they match. But if you're like me and you're doing internal medicine, or if you're doing any specialty outside of um, ophthalmology or urology, you will usually find out when you match in March. And that's right now, right? And so in March, there's a lot going on. Today is March 8th, yesterday was March 7th. One week from yesterday, March 14th, at 9 a.m. Eastern time, every student will get an email that tells them whether or not they matched. It's a binary email, it's a yes or no. It doesn't tell you where you matched, but it tells you if you matched or not. If you didn't match, then that whole week from the um, 14th to the 18th, which is Monday through Friday, you are then enrolled in SOAP. Uh, it basically is where you find out all those programs across the country that have open spots. You interview there and um, try to try to match up one of those programs. So overall, it's actually a very anxiety provoking time because on Monday, if you don't match, there's this whole sequence of things you have to do. Um, and guess what? Every year there are actually a lot of people who don't match because this whole process is actually very competitive and very tough. Um, and so rightfully so, uh, it can be really scary to know that like on Monday, there is actually a non-zero chance that anyone, you know, my, me, you, anyone who's matching could get an email saying you didn't match and you have to kind of just jump around and figure out if you can find another position. Um, so that's part of the anxiety, right? Like part of the anxiety is just coming from the fact that like Monday is when everyone's gonna find out if they even matched or not. And if you get a no, like that just sets off this whole escapade of like different things you might have to do. So that's one source of anxiety. And then from 14 to the 18th, you interview for soap. On the 18th at I think 12, AKA noon Eastern time, is when match day is, and that's when everyone opens up the envelope and finds out where they matched. And again, this is all determined by an algorithm. After you interview for residencies, you write down what your top choices are. Residencies write down what their choices are, and then algorithm pairs you up. So basically, in a week and a half from now, I'll know where I'm going for residency, which is mind boggling, but also really scary. Um, it's a time of like very immense change. I just don't know if I'm First of all, even ready for residency. I don't feel competent enough. Uh, so a lot of things uh, that are uncertain. And as you know, whenever I'm surrounded by uncertainty, I make videos like this. And so uh, hopefully this was slightly educational for you. Kind of see where my headspace is today. I'm kind of been lounging around, um, thinking about you know things outside from that. Uh, but you know, it is a time of celebration, regardless of whether I match or not. I think it is actually saying a lot because I think the last five years have been so challenging uh and all that to say i just uh, i feel grateful to have finished ish fingers crossed to actually graduate uh and if and when i graduate um hopefully go to a program that loves me for who i am and i love them for who they are uh so that's all all i kind of have to say about the match today it's a lot of feelings a lot of things up in the air if you have any questions about it feel free to drop them below i do want to make a few more videos related to the match and uh in the meantime hopefully uh you know Keep your fingers crossed for me and hope your boy ends up at a place that loves him and he loves it. I'm sure any place I go to, I would be really grateful and lucky to be there. So I promise I'm going to try to be like on the front lines, show you what it feels like. Uh, it's, it's anxiety provoking, but hey, you have the video from when I actually interviewed at Yale. I'm going to be you now graduating. Match day is coming up, so I only think it's fair that I try to provide a front, front, front seat view to exactly what the action is going to be looking like. So anticipate more videos, more fun stuff coming your way. Uh, but in the meantime, take care of yourself, someone else too, uh, especially with the state of the world that we're all in right now. And uh, thank you all for watching. Peace.